All right, there, I got it set so I think I can see what's going on and the comments. Thanks for joining me today. Um, doing a little craft fair craft in here. I found these super adorable stackable pencils at um, Amazon. And so they're little cuties. Write with them, rearrange them. Each one of the little bears has a little lead pencil. Really, really cute. I love it. And um, I've got a uh, source link for you to Amazon if you find these. They were very affordable, and I thought, how cute for spring, summer shows, but also they're inventory that'll carry year round. So if they don't sell at one show, I can pack them up and don't have to worry about them being uh, perishable. And that in combination with the brand new Cute Crew punch box inspired this project. All right, so I got my Cute Crew punch box. I just really fell in love with the product. So let me show you that. Here's the punch box. And inside the box, you'll find a six piece stamp set. Really, really cute. And when I saw the little For You bear, I instantly thought gummy bears. So I've got um, these little pencils. I bought some um, swirly gummy bears. I got a few projects in mind with them. Um, I've got projects in mind with some of the other stamp sets too. Thought what an easy way to make some treats and some cards. Punchbox comes with a six piece photopolymer stamp set, three watercolor pencils, I mean four watercolor pencils, three of which are available in other packets, but the Call Me Clover is exclusive. You get a acrylic block, basic gray stampin' pad, and the awesome cute crew punch. I love this punch. It's really, really a cutie. It's got a scallop top and bottom, and there are so many fun ways that you can use this punch. So here's the little punch in action combined with the For You Bear stamp. Now, speaking of all the ways that you can use this Cute Crew Punch Box, I just want to give you a quick little housekeeping. The Cute Crew Punch Box bonus class is open right now for registration. How do you register? You order the Cute Crew Punch Box, a package of Whisper White note cards and envelopes, and a free celebration item using the host code, which I will add to this post after, or you can buzz over by kitchentablestamper.com for that host code, but just using the host code 74NQGQHC. That's all you have to do. MarissaAlvarez.stampinup.net. Order those items with the host code and I will automatically send you the class. So the class is six cards featuring each of the stamp sets and the Cute Crew Punch Box. You'll get the kits to use with your Whisper White note cards and the online classroom as my treat. All right, so that's the Cute Crew Punch Box. You can register for that by um, now through March 11th. And um, yeah, your registration with the, or your purchase with the host code is your registration for the class. And in that class, we're gonna, sh I'm gonna show you five ways to use this tag punch. So something fun. All right, so we're talking about um, housekeeping. Let me just grab a couple of quick things. So celebration coordination has begun. All those great celebration items that you've earned, the So Happy Together stamp set, the Hello Cupcake stamp set, um, the Part of My Story stamp set. There are now some amazing coordinating products available. Last year, you asked for dies for your um, celebration stamp sets. This year, Stampin' Up! came through. So if you've got some of those freebies and you wish you had a die set for it, they are now available for order today. Um, the Story Label Punch is probably my favorite of the new celebration coordination items. We're going to use that Story Label Punch today. I am just in love with this product. It's $18 punch, and the $18 goes towards free celebration redemption, so it counts towards your $50. Um, speaking of free celebration redemptions, February 15th, Stampin' Up! added three new redemptions, the All Adorned Stamp Set, Country Floral Dynamic Textured Impression Embossing Folder, love that thing, and the Painted Seasons Bundle as a level two redemption. 
starting today, you asked Stampin' Up! Listened once again. The Painted Seasons Bundle um, is now also available. Painted Seasons Bundle is a level two item, but the Painted Seasons Designer Series Paper is now available as a level one redemption. So really awesome. Stampin' Up! is just really kicking it out of the park. Um, so there's also, let's see here, two, four, six, seven new redemption items. They're current catalog, annual catalog items. So Stampin' Up's really um, giving you some more variety for this last month of celebration. Uh, the new items that they're offering are the Share What You Love Embellishment Kit, the Scattered Sequins Dynamic Textured Impression Embossing Folder, mini pizza boxes i love those that's a great free redemption it's a consumable that you can just stock up on some more and use your the products in your order to make some cute little pizza boxes um, the delightfully detailed laser cut specialty paper petal promenade designer series paper and then stampin up is also offering the pearlized doilies and the Rich Razzleberry Quarter Inch Velvet Ribbon, both fantastic embellishments, but they're offering you two packs of the doilies or two spools of the ribbon as a level one redemption. So really good, some more variety stuff, some consumable things that you can um, stock up on with your orders. So that I think is all the housekeeping. Um, let me go through the supplies that you need for this project. I'm gonna look at the comments really quick here. Okay, Katie says, Benny says hello. Benny is my biggest canine fan. Hi, Benny. And Brenda says hello. Hi, Brenda. Thank you guys for joining me. All right, so here's our project. Hey, Des, will you grab me the Stampin' Up! bags over there? I could not do this without Desi. Um, so we've already talked about the Cute Crew punch box. You'll need your Cute Crew for You Bear, Memento, Tuxedo Black Ink, and your cute cute crew tag punch. I've also got my story label punch, brand new, available to order today. I have my two by eight cellophane bags from Stampin' Up. I'm gonna grab one of those right now. Uh, let's see here, my little pencil, you'll have a link to Amazon for that. They're really affordable. They're a great, um, a great buy and a really cute way to um, do some all year round, but especially spring, summer crafting. I have a half inch circle punch. Um, I've got some Stampin' Blends and the colors I chose to go with the house sweeted is designer series paper were light Bermuda Bay. Um, this is the dark pool party. I've got the light Highland Heather, Granny Apple Combo Pack, light pineapple punch and light lovely lipstick. So I, I kind of mix and match depending on which tag. Those are the ones that I pulled up. Um, paper supplies. I've got a scrap of pineapple punch this time and we're going to use that with the story label punch and then the pieces for the little backer card for this pencil are um, Highland Heather five and three quarters by one and five eighths. It'll be on the project sheet and the designer series paper, the how sweet it is. How cute is that with the gummy bears? Oh my gosh. If you don't have that paper, you need it with the for you bear and the gummy bear pencils. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm on overwhelm. When I saw the gummy bear pattern, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. How perfect. Um, and the pattern paper is five and a half by three, one and three eighths. All right. Let's see here. I want to show you the how sweet it is designer series paper really quick. I love this paper pack. Um, let's see. I only have scraps of it left because I'm getting ready for craft fairs, but let me show you some of the patterns here. Here's that little candy pattern. Backside is all those apothecary jars. Got this fun rainbow diagonal stripe with a solid melon mambo, well, melon mambo print on the back. I can't wait to make one of my gummy bear pencils with that pattern. It's really, it's really kind of pretty perfect. All right, backside is a coastal cabana diagonal stripe. And then we've got this fun pattern. It's hard to tell because I've cut it up for, um, backers, but it's got big cupcakes and lots of different candies floating with a coastal cabana dot on the back. And then the gummy bear one that we're using today has got a um, melon mambo coastal cabana stripe on the back. All right, so that's how sweet it is designer series paper. 
Now, what else do I wanna show you here? I think we gotta get started on our crafting, don't we? Oh, I've got some pineapple punch ribbon. This is the 1 8 inch grow grain ribbon. And I've also used the lovely lipstick 1 8 inch grow grain and the quarter inch um, gorgeous grape mini stripe. And I do have a smidgen of the Celebration Organdy ribbon. Uh, this is scheduled to come back in maybe for a short period of time next week. So just some news. We'll see what happens. All right. Kathy says, love that paper pack, right? Isn't that how sweet it is, paper? Just so lovely. Um, Desi, will you hand me my tools? All right, I've got a 1 8 inch circle punch, handheld circle punch, and Stampin' Up's got these mm -hmm. while supplies last. Their manufacturer isn't gonna keep providing them. It's maybe something that you've already got anyway. It's just a bit of news. Thank you. I only hand me my Stampin' Pierce mat. Oh my gosh, I could not do this without that kid. Well, she's not really a kid, she's an adult. Desi, say hi. Hi. <laughs> She's just a part of any Stamping Live now. I can't do it without her. All right, so I've got some Whisper White cardstock. You just need a scrap. And I'm going to stamp my little dude with Memento. Let's make sure I'm in the picture here. Yeah, I think so. All right, so ink him up good and stamp him down. Oh, I love him so much. He's so cute. All right, now I'm going to color them up with some Stampin' Blends, but I'm going to do that in just a minute. I'm going to just let my ink sit for a second. I've got my Story Label Punch. I love this new label. It's such a cool new shape, something different from what we've had in dies and stamps in the past, and just punch one of those out. Now, to get the perfect placement so that it can support and hold your little gummy bear pencil, you need a half inch circle punch and you're going to just kind of roll the paper between your index finger and thumb so that it will support that pencil and the package now with the circle punch upside down you want to center the punch do you see how the punch is just about as wide as this little bracket on the label. So that's gonna help you to know that your punch is centered right to left. You're gonna watch those points. You're gonna slide the paper in, and when it hits the bottom of the circle, you're gonna stop and adjust right to left using those little brackets. And then when you've got that, then you can put in to the punch, paying attention how far you put in, how much you slide. And when you punch, you'll have a nice little room to hold your gummy bear and your circle will be centered pretty well right to left. So we're gonna do that again, watching those little brackets, watching how far we put in, and then give a punch. See, it turns out really nice that way. Now the next thing I like to do is put my little bears in there and we're gonna go one bear in and then from the back and then thread down the point from the front and then we can just slide up and I like to slide it over the first bear and so that the second bear is kind of framed and so is the third bear. So it's over his head and over his head, over the purple head and over the pink head. That way it's not going across anybody's face. It doesn't look crazy. All right, so then a little bit of tear and tape on the back of here. And we'll set that aside for a second and let's go ahead and adhere our gummy bear designer series paper to the cardstock. And I'm gonna use some snail adhesive for that. A good dry one will do. You can use multi-purpose liquid, but the snail's a little bit quicker, especially when I'm doing craft fair stuff. So center. So what do you guys think of this project? Is it something that you might make? All right, so see, we got our little contraption here, our little backer card to hold the pencil. And it came together really quick, don't you think? All right, I like to put the tip of the pencil so that it is just about an eighth of an inch above the designer series paper and then carefully center my label and then burnish it down. And I've lost my clear bag because it's clear. I can't see it. Ah, oh, there it is. 
I got some th hearts and thumbs up. Thank you guys. That's really encouraging. It's encouraging when you interact with me. Then I know I'm not just talking to myself. <laughs> Slide that guy in the bag. And we'll put that aside for just a minute. Let me move this guy and let's color up our bear. All right, what color bear do I want? Hmm. Desi kept telling me she wanted to see a yellow gummy bear, so I'm out on a limb here. I haven't tried a yellow one yet. But with the pineapple punch for the little label that's holding the pencil, I think it's going to work. I don't know if I want pineapple punch ribbon, though, if I have a pineapple punch bear. We'll see. We're winging it. We're going to figure it out. They're mix and match. That's the best part about craft fairs. It's like you can really take a chance and mix and match some things and see how things turn out because you're making quite a few anyway. Um, Kathy and Brenda say adorable and cute. Thank you. I'm going to color my leaves with Granny Apple. I like this again. This little punch box is really awesome for um, quick projects because it's very simple coloring. You got the watercolor pencils in the box, so you're all set to go. No think, no thinking about it. It's all ready in one one container. But you can, of course, get any other method. And all I do on this one, I do. This is the only blending I do. I color in the leaves with the light granny apple, and then just touch the bottoms with the dark granny apple and then bring it together. It's the absolute only blending I do on this project. So pretty simple. And then the rest is just touching in. All right, now what color colors here? I think we need to bring some purple in because of the purple, purple card stock in the back. So Highland Heather for the flowers. We're going for it. I don't know if the heart should be blue or it should be pink. Maybe pink because the pink gummy bear on the pineapple punch label. Maybe it'll uh, mimic that. Got a really fast, easy one for you guys today. Um, for those of you who know, last Wednesday I broke my leg. So it's been a little bit less than a week and a half now. And I'm feeling pretty good. I'm still sitting while I stamp though, and that's kind of... A bummer. It's hard for me. Um, but I'm healing and that's that's good. I don't get as much time at the craft table as I'd like. I won't take it for granted anymore, that's for sure. At least for a while. Sometimes we fall back into our old patterns of taking these for granted, don't we? Alright, so I've lined up my little dude and punch him out. Gosh, how simple and cute is that? That packs a lot of cute for a very easy little project. I'm gonna cut a hole in the top of the tag with my 1 8 inch handheld circle. And now we're gonna audition some ribbons. Oh, I got this one. And in hopes of it coming back for a little while, this celebration ribbon, I am going to, what do you think? Purple? Too much purple? Hmm. Feel free to. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you think. For lovely lipstick. Doesn't matter. I can mix and match them for the craft fairs. I'm making like 36 of them or something like that. Mm. Pineapple punch. Is that too much? Too much pineapple punch? <laughs> I can't decide. All right, I want to hear what you guys think. The Highland Heather, the Pineapple Punch, or the Lovely Lipstick. And I also want to hear what you guys think about the Cute Crew Punch Box. Um, if you've been following me, you know that I think that the punch boxes are a little pricey. But I loved this one so much, I indulged. That's why I'm offering the bonus class in March. Um, I want to give you absolute best value for your money. So that's why I'm offering the free class when you, when you purchase, cause I know that it's, um, $45 for the punch box and it includes the stamp set, the punch, four watercolor pencils, a block and an ink pad. Um, I'm going to try to inspire you with some fun ways to use it. Let's see. You guys are saying Highland Heather, yellow or Heather, um, Kathy says, glad to hear you're healing and your leg is feeling better. It is. I spend most of my time elevated. Um, I don't know. I, I do. I spend most of my time elevated. 
All right, we got a couple. We got a couple of Highland Heathers, a couple of Pineapple Punch. What do you guys think? Pineapple Punch. Pineapple Punch seems to be in the lead here. I'm gonna go for the Pineapple Punch on this one. I'm making 36. The next one can be Highland Heather. <laughs> Thanks for your opinions, you guys. I love that we can interact like that. All right, so we're just gonna finish it off. We're almost done. Uh, it's March 1st. If you've got a celebration order for me, and if there's anything you could do for you, stamp it up. Reach out, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. You can order online 24 seven, marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. I'll put those links above the video as soon as we're done here. The pencils are available on Amazon. There's already a link to them uh, with the teaser photo that I posted about a half an hour, an hour ago. And I'll get that link in there. If you want that cute crew punch box, you've had it on your wish list anyways, you might as well order it now with the host code and get a free class. All right, I just tied up my bag, really cute. I like that it resembles candy. Katie and I were talking about that. And let me see here. I got a ribbon scissors. If you got questions about the Cute Crew Punch Box, you can go to kitchentablestamper.com slash online classroom. You can learn all about the Cute Crew bonus and about Geared Up Garage. We're doing Geared Up Garage in March at the Kitchen Table Stamper online classroom. All right, I threaded on one side. For a bow that always goes the right way, just in case you don't know this, thread your tag and do not tie over under. No no knot here, nothing. We're going straight into the bow and your tails will end up down and your ears up if you follow this method. So we're going to push up. See, there's no twisting. We're just kind of folding and hold the loop. Now we're going to take the opposite in our non-dominant hand and we're going to go up and over the top. Then where your fingers holding on to that loop, you just meet fingertip to fingertip and push that ribbon through. Now you see, ears up, tails down. Just give your tag a little adjustment and then pull it tight. Hope that's helpful. I know some of you have trouble tying bows, but that's a very, there's a very simple, if you do the method, it turns out right, I promise. Was that helpful? All right, there's our little gummy bear treat bag. I'm gonna just trim the tails. If you guys got any questions about the project, about the new celebration coordination items, about the cute crew punch box class. Oh, I saw some wow faces. <laughs> Was that for the bow tying maybe? Anything I can do to help you stay crafty? Gina says bow tie, my bow tying tips help greatly. Thank you. All right, you guys, I'm on here. I am gonna go elevate and ice and work on punching pieces so that I can have these ready for the craft fairs while I elevate and ice. Reach out if there's anything I can do for you. Thank you for your orders of the cute crew punch box. The class, um, the complimentary class will go out um, March 25th, the week of March 25th, and the online classroom with videos for each of the projects, for each of the cards, um, and project sheets will go out via email on the 25th of March.